Sure. So what made you want to fast forward a little bit? What made you want to get into the real estate side of things and actually get your real estate license? 99, one of my wife's friends um, asked me about a house in Upper Arlington. If it was a good deal, and I'm like, looked at it. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good buy. You know, that's a nice solid house, whatever it was. And she bought it and it was one house that they looked at and they bought it. And I'm like, huh, I could be a realtor. So at the same time, and then in June of 2000, I got my real estate license as well. Oh, okay. So then you were actually, now, did you, did you mostly focus on the appraisal side? Because oh. that was kind of like a bigger operation, or did you go all in on both? No, for the the first five or six years of having my real estate license, the only thing I did was just friends and family, um, and loan officers. I would sell all the loan officers their houses. Why not? You already had the relationships, right? I, oh, it was easy. You know, I would I'd be like, oh, I'll list your house for one percent. I don't care about the money. I just want more appraisals from you. That's what I was always looking at. And then I'd make three percent selling it. So I was with a small little company, Villages Real Estate, had an office, you know, right outside of Hamilton Meadows, and then Mary Lee Bendig was had one in downtown Groveport. So, you know, it was just a five or six agents in the office kind of thing. So, so one of the questions I always ask, and you, and you kind of answered it from the parent standpoint, but maybe you did. I mean, did you have a lot of supporters or doubters? Because it's, see, like your path's a little bit different, right? You, you, I'm assuming you were 1099 as an appraiser, appraisal oh, yeah. assistant, right? Typically, you know, a lot of agents get into real estate coming from another career where it's not necessarily 100% commission based, right? It's, uh, hey, I'm going to get paid every two weeks or it's a salary, whatever the case may be. But I'm always curious when they get into real estate, and I guess this would apply the same to the appraisal side of it. Uh, did you have doubters, mostly supporters? I'm always curious on on that, and maybe not doubters where it was like you know uh, they let you know about it, but no, not that I know of. But like my dad died 2000 early. I mean, he was six. I mean, 40 years older than me. So, but early still. Right. 65. Right. And, you know, like one of his close work friends said, oh, your dad always, you should go back and finish your degree. Your dad always wanted that. And I'm like, I, I don't think I need one, you know? So, but that no one ever told me they doubted me or anything. And, you know, by 2003, we'd build a $500,000 house. Yeah. Put an in-ground pool. You know, I thought, hell, I made it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and so, so then when you got started and this could be from the appraisal standpoint or maybe the real estate standpoint, initial struggles, mostly success. Oh, it was all success. It was, yeah. I mean, it was. And you I, probably had a little bit of a cheat code cause you, you had the, the relationships from the appraisal side, you know, and then that probably helped fuel the, the real estate side. Well, yeah. I mean, like I said, it was real estate was a hobby for me until about 08 when all of my mortgage brokers that I was in, I just, I was in bed with all the mortgage brokers and the B and C lending. When I'd lost a couple appraisers, field appraisers, cause they'd got their license and went on. So I was down to seven or eight helping me at that point, but we had no business. So yeah, it was, 2008 was a very shitty year. Yeah. 